property condition report at 9 Abbott's Close on the 8th of September 2022. So I'm just outside the property. You can see the driveway is clean with no items or rubbish. The grass is to a satisfactory level. But you can see obviously the tree is overgrown onto our porch area. And you do have a few weeds towards the bottom. You can see this bush is overgrown and does need some attention and then just getting closer you can see this so the plants are dead and you do have weeds present window clean required but with no damage you do have cobwebs but the glass is clean with no concerns plant pots and the entrance so you do have visible leaves present but there's no dirt and no personal items sage green door currently closed with no damage however again clean is required door frame but the door's in good condition with no concerns doorbell is working you have a white frame And again, sage green door. So gold fittings, you do have a gap between the actual handle and the door fitting. No black scuff marks, no handprints, clean condition. Silver letterbox cover. Um, you do have white speckles present, but you've got no dust or dirt in the grooves. So just heading on in. You have your chain, which is securely attached to the wall. The door open and close is fine. I think you need to put your key in to lock it, which is fine. Open and close is fine, lock's fine. And then you have your chain. I thought you had a bit in the chain that pushes down here and close it you do have left of that a little screw i'm guessing the chain hangs on here maybe no no but if you just lift the chain up you've got black marks on the wall from obviously the chain hitting the wall so the door is white from the inside clean with no cobwebs no stains and no damage no dirt or black marks present no dust or dirt in the grooves gold letterbox fitting gold handle gold chain okay ceiling so the ceiling is white clean with no stains no cobwebs no leak like marks no black marks light bulb fitting present with three light bulbs working and present so clean ceiling with no cause for concern just midway from the first door you have a cobweb but the ceiling is white with no stains. And then just before the second fitting, right hand side, you have a black mark on the wall here, on the ceiling groove here. Second fitting, clean, three light bulbs working and present. I'm just gonna turn around and show you a different angle of the ceiling. So again, that was a sec the black mark I pointed out first. And then just above the first room, you have a cobweb. Okay, so I'm going to go up and down the walls. So behind the door, towards the bottom, you have black faint scuff marks present. You do have a cobweb on the hinge clean condition and then just above it's a cobweb and another cobweb from this wall to the ceiling groove and you've got a spider above the coat hook you've got black marks present very faint four coat holders present stable condition and then underneath the third one you've got a black mark present further on down clean condition of the walls However, when you get above to the skirting boards, black scuff marks are present. 
and obviously spider. Just above the skirt and boards, scuff marks are present. And then when you're looking left, again, above the skirt and board marks present, cobweb, and then a line. I've just got my fingers there so you can see how big the lines are. And then left of the fireplace cover, just three quarters of the way up, you've got more scuff marks. They are faint, but marks are present. Left of the mirror, got a different texture on the wall. Got another mark, cobweb above the mirror with no concerns. However, now looking up, you do have a very faint cobweb. Mirror is clean, attached securely to the wall with no handprints. Just gonna lift these letters. So you have the radiator cover, marks on the fireplace. So it's something hot's been on there maybe, and it's affected the paint. You've got paint peeled here, the vase, decorative ornament. And it is clean, there's no dust or dirt, and then in between the mirror and the radiator cover, clean condition. However, you do have speckles on the wall. And you have a white radiator cover, clean, with no dust and no damage. And then to the right, clean condition skirting boards. And so underneath, so just above the skirting boards, but towards the right side, you do have faint scuff marks present. The further, and you can see the different texture and brush stroke. So you've got the brushes there and the roller there. And then just underneath eye level, you've got a long, very faint black scuff mark. And then towards the right, another small scuff mark. So eye level, you have a hole here from a missing nail. Nail present, nail present. And then just left of the middle nail, mark on the wall. Above is clean. You have above the door to the first room, clean condition. The door frame is white, clean, with no cause for concern. And the door is white, clean, with no dust or dirt in the grooves. However, you have a mark right of the handle towards the bottom. A gold handle above to the right door chipped. But there's no dust or dirt. And then just heading out, you have the wall. And obviously, always so automatically, you can see a long line straight down the wall from the painting corner. Above, above the painting, it's clean. And then right of the painting. You have a mark on the wall here, and then another mark here. Underneath the painting, you do have marks present. So you've got a mark, different texture on the wall, but there is a mark there. Mark, mark, scuff mark, mark. And then towards the skirting boards, you have a mark on the wall. And then another slightly darker mark towards the left-hand corner. Skirting boards are white. Slight layer of dust present. Yeah, a thin layer of dust is present. So you have a photo attached securely to the wall with no damage. And then you have your ground floor bedroom. The door is clean white with no scuff marks above the door is clean with no concerns however the door frame as soon as you look underneath you can see the paint has been scrapped scraped from the coat hook and on the other side door frame is white and in clean condition paint has chipped I've done the door. So this is above to the utility room. Clean. Door frame is also clean. 
white with no concerns and the door is also white clean with no dirt in the grooves and no black marks and no concerns okay so i'm just going to continue with the walls so you can see various marks on this wall all quite faint and so just above the skirting boards you've got a black mark you've got cobwebs here in the corner you can see the move black mark 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 a line and then further on another mark here and then above mark mark a long line here of marks another mark that are quite faint but marks are present no handprints on or around the light switch you've got another mark looking up left for above the light fitting you've got a nail in the mark which has been painted over no handprints on or around the extractor fan switch and obviously just back to these marks again and then you've got a just left of the middle hinge like a curved mark and then we have downstairs wc white door clean with no dust or dirt gold fittings you do have paint on the hinges above is clean and then around the photo, clean condition. You've got a small little mark here on the wall. No handprints on or around the light switching. Light switch is clean. Just underneath, you have a mark on the wall. Another mark, mark, mark. Looks like a handprint that does. Mark, mark, mark. Paint on the socket. Thin layer of dust present. And then just above the skirting boards, various marks. Very faint marks, but marks are present. And a thin layer of dust is present. Door to under storage. Clean, white, no dust and no dirt. Gold fittings. When you're looking at the door, right hand corner, mark present. And then underneath the banister you have um okay condition however marks are present and then again a very thin layer of dust on the white skirting board banister is white clean of the handrail is brown painted Okay, I'm just going to continue around. So the wall, as soon as you head on in, you have black scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark, scuff mark. Actual marks in the wall itself, you see it's slightly dented. And then to the left, a black scuff mark. These marks have been noted already. And then above, clean. You have your fuse box, which is clean. However, do that is a spider. Another spider and cobweb. We can see it moving. And again, another cobweb in the corner. You can't see that one moving, but you can see it there again, the corner. Just there. Shelf is stable and clean. Second shelf, stable and clean with no black marks. Underneath, it's clean with no black scuff marks or handprints. I'm just going to move these notes. And then above, clean, it's like a cream colour. And then you have drawer right, empty, bottom drawer right, empty, left top drawer empty, left um, drawer bottom that is very loose. So it looks like it's not, it's come out. So it's quite loose. You can see you moving. Okay, and then to the left, towards the bottom, you have various marks on the wall. Something spilt on the wall, maybe. 
and then small scuff marks. I'm just going to stop at the green stair and then again, scuff marks visible on the wall. They are quite faint and they are quite light, but you can see these marks. And then just, this is all under eye level. Can you? Oh, that's just the shadow. And then just eye level, you do have handprints on the wall. If I zoom out a bit, you can see the handprints. Above eye level, it's clean. So I'm just going to stop here in line with the step and you can see the handprints are present. The flooring, the flooring is all hoovered and clean. Clean mat. You have, I don't know if that's the, I think that's just the shadow of the light, yeah. Okay, so the rug has been hoovered. There's no hairs, there's no odour. Just halfway up. You do have a mark on the rug, just putting it next to my finger and you can see the size. But there is no odours and no visible damage. I'm just going to roll the mat up. So we have the flooring. So if I do it in front of there, because it's all clean with no hairs and odours and no dirt and no bits. And then the flooring is all clean with no damage, no hairs and no concerns okay so i'm just going to head into the first room just going to pop my shoes off so i've done the front of the door i'm just going to do behind the door so the door open and close is fine the door is it's cream it's not white with gold fittings so the door is clean with no dust or dirt in the grooves however to the left hand side handprints are present okay so we have the ceiling which is white marks present above the in front of the wardrobe Light bulb working and present with lampshade, clean, stable condition. And then just looking at the lampshade, look left, cobwebs visible on the wall, mark on the ceiling. No, that's not a mark, that's just the texture of the ceiling. However, further on down, you do have a, it's like a, like a little flying ant. I'm not going to record that. Apart from the cobwebs and the black mark in front of the wardrobe, the ceiling is clean with no concerns. So just looking at the lampshade, so I'm standing in front of the front of the wardrobe, look up, then look straight above. You've got a bark on the ceiling. Then just in front of the wardrobe, just showing you a different angle of the black scuff marks which are present. Okay, so let's start with the walls. So I'm just going to go up and down the wall so you can see the wall here, this small wall is clean with no concerns. However, the corner, you can see paint has peeled in areas. And then further on along towards the skirting boards, you can see there is a patch with paint has peeled in two areas. And you can obviously see the dark patch as well, like I just said. So it's left of the plug socket. And then just around the light switch, black mark on the light switch with paint peeled as well. Just above it's clean. And you got back to your cobweb. And then just going to go up and down. So left of the radiator, a yellow mark. And then above the plug socket, Two further marks, paint is peeled, and then underneath, paint exposed. And you've got a little small dent in the wall left of the radiator. Underneath, it's clean. Skirt and boards are white clean, radiator is clean. Above, clean, with no handprints. And then to the right, I think, yeah, that's just the blind shadow. Right, it's clean with no cause for concern. Above the shredder. 
and around the plug socket. You can see left of the plug socket, paint is chipped, one, two, three. And above the third one, you have a small scuff mark. Underneath the plug socket, you can see the uneven texture. And a little gap here. And then above, again, uneven texture. Just in the corner, it's clean with no cause for concern. And then above the window, clean with no concerns, no paint peeled. Left of the window, it's clean condition. Just trying to think if that's a shadow. No, that's fine. Just when you are looking at this mark, it's not even a mark, it's just an uneven texture. Look left, you've got a cobweb. Cobweb on the wall. And then underneath, it's clean. However, just under the open reach item, you've got paint issue here. Paint is peeling. You've got a selection of wires, but you can see the carpet's clean. Um, blinds are currently closed. And you can see around the blinds, the clean, with no paint peeled, just got an uneven texture. Is it paint chipped above and on the corner? Pens, bit of sellotape, pencils, a lid. Just going to lift the blinds up. Currently open. The glass, the window is clean. The frame is also clean. Window opens fine. The groove is okay. It could do with another clean. And you can see it's quite, yeah, could do with another clean. Window sill clean with no damage. You've got a bit of paint towards the left. Bit, a couple of chips here on the corner. Left side, no mould, no paint peeling, no marks. Right side, no paint peeling, no mould and no marks. So I'm just going to leave this open whilst I'm here. Put the pens back. Desk, clean condition. You do have a chip in the corner here. And you can see ring-like marks are present. You've got a BT router. Just going to put that on the window. And you've got another item here. Just going to pop that on the floor. So, yeah, you do have ring light marks here towards middle and then right, left. You've got another mark here on the desk. But it's been wiped down and it's clean. So, left drawer, empty and clean. Right drawer, also empty and clean. Underneath, you have a bin with two pieces of rubbish. Oh, and I think you've got rubbish at the bottom as well. Got a couple of sticky labels at the bottom, and you can see the bins dirty. Underneath the wall, there's no black marks. However, in the middle, you've got tea light marks or liquid light marks on the wall. Dust visible on the skirting board. Oh no, it's not dust. I think it needs a wet cloth just to give it a good clean. So no dust there. Yeah, I think just a nice wet cloth just to clean, wipe it down slightly. Then you have a single sofa mark on the seat. You can just see from this angle, dust present. See that light thinner layer of dust present. You have a pillow. No stains or odours. Seat. No dust or hairs or bits. You do have a mark on the leather itself here. And then on the sides, tired looking. You got a bit of paint chipped on the leg. Left leg again. And then tired looking from the side as well. 
and then you can see the dust. So there is a light layer of dust present. You can just see where I've wiped it. However, behind the single sofa, you can see the walls, skirt and boards and the flooring are clean with no black handprints, no concerns. Good condition of the walls, clean, just looking right behind the single sofa seat. Black scuff mark present. But you can see there's no other black marks or handprints, no dirt on the skirting board. Brown, two boxes. Empty and clean. And the slightly bigger one, empty and clean. So I'm going to pop them here. And then you can see there's no black marks, no handprints, just a different texture on the wall here. Left of the map, it's clean. Above the map, it's clean. The map itself is in good condition. And then underneath the map, you can see, I'm just going to see if I can lift this. Oh, I can't lift it forward. I meant to. Yeah, you can see paint. Paint's all peeled off. It's all been exposed. From the corner. Just trying to keep it lifted so you can see how much there is paint that's peeled off the wall. But underneath, it's clean and stable. And then the sofa bed itself is a cream colour with no odour and no visible damage, with no stains. And you have a lamp with light bulb present. Just gonna pop that here. Then you have a storage box, so you stain. And then another dot here. It is empty and clean inside. I'm just going to move it forward. So behind the box, you've got a mark on the wall. One, two, three small dots present. And then above, two areas where the paint has chipped. However, above that, it is clean. And then moving over left towards the wardrobe, clean. However, until you get underneath eye level, you do have faint scuff marks which are present skirting boards clean however a thin layer of dust is present uh, let me see if i can there you go dust present the carpet is clean though okay so we have a three door wardrobe glass is no damage Let's see if you can see it Marks present on the wardrobe here, two, and then a couple of fingerprints mark here. But there's no cracks or concerns. So if I start left side, the door is clean with no concerns. I've done the glass and if I do the right door, clean with no concerns. I'm just gonna push this to the corner And then also, I don't, the left door, yeah, it does, it's going to clash with that door. So, left side, you can see it's obviously not been painted inside. I'm very limited because the doors don't give me a good size. So, you do have um, items present, one, two, two pillows, one duvet. A further two pillows and then we we'll slide the glass one all the way across and then move the right door it's on the same runner it comes off the runner yeah so the right door comes off the runner. it's completely off so the right door is not stable
Right, I've managed to stabilize the door and put it on the bottom runner. However, this needs attention. You got clothes hangers present, empty, no black marks on the walls, further coat hook hangers. No black marks. So my main concern is the door on the right, that it is not stable. I think I need to push it back to the back runner. Okay, so the right door is not stable and does need attention. So I'm going to put the glass door in front of it so it keeps it pushed back. Um, and then the wall is clean with no black marks and no handprint above the door is also clean. I forgot to do this chair. So you have a desk study chair, tired looking, wrinkles in the seat, white mark, left side silver frame clean condition so the flooring has all been hoovered with no hairs no dust and no dirt no footwear marks no stains no iron marks i'm just going to close the window a little bit And then I'm going to head into the ground floor bedroom. I'll just turn that light off too. Okay, behind the door, so the door is white. However, towards the bottom, scuff mark on the door, paint has chipped. Scuff mark, scuff mark on the frame, different colour in paint. Right side, mark on the door. And obviously you've got your coat hook. And obviously that's what's caused the paint to peel on the door frame in between. Okay, so we have the ceiling, which is white with no visible stains. Light bulb one, two, and three working and present. Just above the wardrobe, you've got a black mark on the ceiling. And then just behind the door, you have a cobweb. Actually, is that a cobweb or is that a mark? <sighs> okay, you do have a few cobwebs in this corner. Okay, let's start with the walls. So behind the door, skirting boards are white. You do have a scuff mark on the wall and another one further up. And then further up to the left, another two scuff marks. And then eye level, another scuff mark. So that's just above shelf, second shelf on the top. Scuff mark, above the walls are clean, apart from obviously cobwebs. Right, left of the shelf, you do have marks on the wall. Another mark, dust on your plug socket and the shelf is stable, clean, securely attached to the wall. Above is clean, in between is clean and then you have your two door wardrobe with three drawers, stable condition. Mirror is cleaned with no handprints or dust. Above the wardrobe, there are no black scuff marks, obviously, apart from that one. Or concerns. Okay. Empty and clean, apart from obviously your hangers. Stable condition. No hairs or dirt. Draw one, it's empty and clean with no hairs. Draw two, empty, however. You do have a few marks present on the bottom of the drawer itself, but no hairs. And then three, hairs pres hair present and another hair present with a stain. And then left, skirt and boards, a thin layer of dust. 
You can see the thin layer of dust. Green walls, quite patchy. You've got a dent in the wall here with a small dot scuff mark. Patchy wall, but it is clean. Above the two photos, clean. Photos attached underneath the photos, clean. Just looking left, you've got a white mark here above the left post. And then you have a wooden frame, two pillows, duvet with no odour. And then a fitted sheet. Clean. Like I said, there's no odours. Wooden frame. Behind the wooden frame, left side, you've got a mark, patchy paint. And then towards the bottom end, you've got a black mark on the wall here, which I think maybe a moth. Okay, just going to work my way around. So just looking at the bed right hand side, above you have a black scuff mark. You can see it's patchy paint. Dent in the wall, however, above, working my way down, it's clean. White unit, handprints present, mark present. Purple lamp with light bulb, glass clear stand with a silver bottom. Drawer is empty, shelves empty. And lamp is working. Okay, just left. So left of the radiator, you have a scuff mark. And the wall is a neutral, like a magnet, a bit like a cream, I'd say. Higher up, you've got another black mark. And then above the window, you've got a stainless, well, no, sorry, a silver curtain rail. And then left of the window, the wall is clean. However, you do have a texture issue here. And then in line with the windowsill, black mark. And then towards the bottom, clean condition. You do have a hair and some dust present. And you can see there's dust visible on the skirting board. Radiator is clean with no concerns. Window. So you've got four candles, one large, three same sized, with a clock, no back. I'm uh, not sure where this has come from. Just gonna move. Just gonna put the cur cur um, candles here. Okay, left of the window, it's clean with no mould. Above, black mark present. Right, clean with no mould, no paint peeling. Windowsill. So the windowsill has been wiped down. However, you actually have marks on the windowsill itself. I think it's the paint. Black scuff mark here. Window frames are clean, free from any dust. Oh, I know where that plastic's come from here. It's come off from the window, look. So that needs reattaching. That's quite loose as well. Okay, so just gonna continue with the frame. So it's clean condition. However, when you get to the top, clean required. This has been left open. Need the key for that. Above. Window frames clean, no dust, missing item. You've got two screws present. Window opens fine, groove could do with a clean. So yeah, you've got a missing item here. And the glass itself is clean from the inside, the left side is, but however, can you see the left, the, sorry, the right side's clean, left, you've got handprints. Let me see if I can close it. There you go, you can see just the top of the handprints. And then another set of handprints here. The window open and close is fine. Then looking where the handle is, look right, you've got two further screws. Holes. So you've got green sage colour. Curtains close fine with no odour. 
and no stains. And then just going to work my way around the room. You've got a cobweb in the corner. You can see it moving. This wall's clean with no concerns. Just in the middle above eye level, you've got two, one, two nail marks. And then just underneath eye level, you can see a patch on the wall. And work my way around. Clean condition of the walls. The flooring is green carpet. I'm just going to put the bedding back on. And I can show you the carpet. So as soon as you head on in, you've got, what is that? Black mark needs hoovering here. White dot bit of feather and then underneath you've got damage on the carpet so that's underneath the left side you've got marks here on the carpet and then left no in front of this unit you've got another dot on the carpet there's no odor that's where the old bed frame used to be. White marks on the carpet. Don't come off. Got a white mark on the carpet. White marks. You also get to see the skirt but look. Then a mark. Oh, that does come off. Just needs a hoover. So back to, obviously, the... Left side of the bed, and you can see the damage on the flooring. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this bedroom and head into the utility area. This door does close, just need to give it a bit of a push. So it is white. Eye level, you have marks present gold fitting it's rusting there's no dust we have another mark here actually you know what towards the bottom there is dust look so a thin layer of dust present got like little tea light marks or liquid light marks and another scuff mark. <coughs> and then left side, you can see it's a different colour, needs a clean. And then the ceiling. So the ceiling is all white. Just above the curtain rail, you have cobwebs with black marks. I'm just going to zoom in. There's a hair. See the hair hanging down there. And then you've got further cobwebs here, middle of the rail, an extractor. Could it's okay, you could do with an extra cleaning because you do have a bit of dust present there in the corner. I'm just trying to get my finger there to focus, just this side here. In between the foot vents, you've got a spider on the wall. And then just above the corner of the door, cobweb from frame to ceiling and a brown mark on the, like a, like a dot, present. Light bulb is working and present. So let's, okay, let's work my way around. So paint has peeled on the skirting board. And you have a hair here. You've got a black mark above in the middle and then further scuff marks towards the left of the door frame. More marks on the wall. More marks. And then looking at the switch, marks on the wall. 
and then so wherever now used to be look left and above and further marks above eye level it's fine above these tiles it's clean tiles are clean with a white sealant with no cracks or damages and above there's no watermarks however you do have one two three small faint marks present and then on the corner of the tumble dryer mark on the wall worktop clean wiped down with no grease I do have obviously at the bottom of the hand washers bin a line left side right side there's no blockage there's no hairs however you do have watermarks underneath units currently closed items present and clean quiet towards the bottom of the shelf <laughs> left door you do have a line here on the door where something's dripped right door so it oh, just needs coming off on the door look but it's clean condition and then you have a hot point washing machine white with a silver door clean required and you've got a couple of blueprints here and then the door itself okay the drum drum opens fine visible mold present in the rubber and on the door and could do with a clean here and then with the hinges clean required and then behind also clean required i'm just going to leave that open there's no marks or dust on top you have a tumble dry indesit with the water empty no lime scale or no mold present The door itself opens fine. A couple of lint, bit of lint present. And then inside's all empty. And then the filter, lint present, needs emptying. Yes, yeah, full. So this lint filter needs emptying. But if I just do this, you can see it's full. Inside need to clean too. And then above, clean, present, clean required because you've got lint at the top. But no dents on the sides. And obviously worktop is clean with no damage. You do have a spider here in this corner. The tiles are clean with no concerns. You've got a drying rack, red basket and a cream basket, which is a broken on the side. And then the walls seem in good condition. No black marks or concerns. Working my way around, no black marks on the walls, clean condition. Left of the tiles, black mark, 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 above, marking the actual wall itself. Then a black mark. Above the door, it's clean. Left of the door, what's this? Cobweb. And then, just in the corner, you've got two lines here. So they stop just, and so eye level above, two lines. Side of the door, it's clean with no concerns. Paint has peeled on the skirting board. Dust, thin layer present. Mark on the wall. Mark a line in this corner here. Just underneath eye level down. Further marks left, right of the radiator. And got hair. Mark. 
So just and left downwards, you've got various marks and then just eye level underneath, you've got again, various marks present. And then above cobweb and above the photos, clean condition. Underneath the photo, obviously that mark's already been picked up. Above the radiator, you've got a line here. And above the photo, it's clean, however small nail hole. You've got a laundry basket. Oh, it's got wheels on. Rust appearing towards the bottom. And obviously your stained material. Stained inside, you can see the stains. Right, ironing board. Blue cover, used but no damage. Above the skirting boards, black marks present. Left of the radiator, black mark present. Good condition. Okay, just put this back. So before I put it back, I'll show you the flooring. It's clean with no hairs. You have a bin with a new bag, a blue rug, which is clean, no odours, no hairs, and then another black rug. So I'm just going to lift them up and do the flooring. Okay, the flooring is tiled in like a peach orange condition colour with no hairs, no dirt. I'm walking on the floor and there's no stickiness. You can just see where the grout is turning white slightly though. But there's no cracks or damages. You do have another bin with a new bin bag, no items. You do have a thin layer of dust and obviously you can see a spider. And then just looking left of the washing machine, you do have marks on the wall present. And then around the corner, more marks towards the bottom, dusty skirting board. In line with the lock, marks present. And you've got a brown mark here on the wall. And then just looking at the washing machine, You've got paint, no, it just needs a clean look. It's coming off, needs a clean, but rust present. Clean required. So above, underneath, it's clean. And the door, with no damage, however, scuff mark present, paint chipped, handprints present, gold fit, gold fitting was the key, mark present, and then above, There's like a sticky residue of them, if there's a, for something that used to be there. Mark present on the wall and the door, another scuff mark. Scuff mark left in the glass. The glass is clean from the inside. Okay, so the glass, there's no damage. However, you've got a cobweb. You've got a cobweb here, you've got a spider hanging down. And the other marks are on the inside there. Could do with a clean clean required all right i'm just gonna get my shoes then we can head on out I'm just gonna leave obviously the camera on bolt one is working there's no bolt at the bottom Door opens fine, I'm just gonna lock it so it doesn't close on me. Okay, you've got garden furniture with no visible damage. A white mark to one of the sides. Unless it's been raining. And oh so you've got two white little items here. These go in the window. See where they're missing. Well, one goes on the window. Don't know where the other one goes. Window sill could do with a clean. And you've got cobwebs on the windows. 
what more can we die? A lot of weed present. And you got a store external storage area. Cobwebs present. I'm gonna have a moment to open it. Struggling to open. Oh, okay. okay items are present. Um, can't open the second door. So you've got extension lead, various um, garden tools, plant buckets, weed killer, various further tools. Push it in like this, I think. Struggling to close. Okay, the external unit I'm struggling to close. So rear garden, there's no personal items. Just plant pots are falling down, no concerns. However, you do have some weeds coming through. So right in the path, you've got a weed. And then in front of the bins, you've got another weed coming through. Weeds behind your bins, item, wooden boards here. Weed coming through in the stones got a green pencil you've got further weeds here in the stones and then plants and um, leaves around the other set of plant pots okay so you have a black bin empty Blue bin, full. Grey bin, half full. And you've got another storage area. I'm just going to move the table out of the way. Oh, it's all full of water. Lovely. Struggling to to open them. I don't know how. Oh, you have to lift it, I think. Well, I'm struggling to open in the second storage area, but it is a stable condition with no cause for concern. Okay, I'm just gonna head back in. Before I do, the wall, the door frame is white, cobweb present. So you've got a sage green door with a white glass frame with no black scuff marks. However, paint has peeled left side. Gold fitting. I'm just going to head on in. Gonna do the bolt. Okay, let's. So this is the first floor completed, and I'm gonna. No, it's not because I've got to do the downstairs WC. Okay, just gonna head on in. So the door is white, however clean required. So the door. So you've got two screw holes present in the door. And then just looking in the grooves, yellow in the corners. It doesn't look like there's any dust, but it looks like it needs a clean. And then towards the bottom, yeah, you've got dust in the corner, you've got a black scuff mark, dust in the corner. And 
and then I can't reach down so you got handprints in the middle of the door towards the bottom if I just open the door can you see it just needs to wipe down you've got black scuff mark mark on the groove needs to wipe down in the corner Right, the ceiling. So you've got two spotlights working and present. From the first spotlight, you've got a hair coming down. And then in the corner, you've got a spider. Extract fan, dust present, clean required. And then you've got paint chipped. And then second light, well, first light bulb with the hair, you've got a stain on the ceiling. Two stains. Underneath, another spider and another spider present. Okay, so just gonna okay, let's do the tiles. So let's start as soon as you go around. You've got grey tiles, clean with a light grey sealant, grout, good condition with no cracks, no concerns, no mould. Shower door. Watermarks present, marks present, even towards the bottom. There you go, gives you an idea of where I can see. See, but it's obviously been wiped down around here, but this bit's been left, so just need to get a clean towards the top of the door so the door open and close is fine the shower cubicle is clean and then you got a different shade of gray which is in good condition white grout and then the tiles i'm going to focus on first they're clean with no concerns however towards the bottom they're starting to discolor the shower so the shower lime scale present just going to step into the shower and then do the tiles light grey light grey grout clean condition no concerns mirror clean oh, I thought it's a touch no handprints however right hand side you can see where it's been wiped away where it's been cleaned Clear sealant, you've got a hair, speckles of mould present, you've got a white mark. Oh, it's like a grey, it's like a light grey sealant. It's really, it looks clear, but it's actually when you look here, it's like a light grey. Um, lime scale present, lime scale present. You can see where it's been wiped down. I think it just needs another clean left side. Yellow discolour around the rim, watermarks are present. Water's running fine, but you can see it's just like just needs lime scale cleaner towards the bottom. If I stop just here, goes down fine with no blockage. Hand wash unit is black. Items present, it does grind against the floor so um you've got watermarks present clean required and then items present not sure what they are they look like nails and to the side you can see watermarks then you've got a grey bin new bin bag behind your tiles are clean you've got a toilet roll holder could do an extra clean here. Radiator. Stable condition, you can see behind the grey tiles. To the right, grey tiles. The tiles are in really good condition, they're nice and clean. Mild, sorry, light grey grout. And then around the toilet, darker grey tiles, white toilet seat. 
clean required. You've got a hair. And you've got underneath. See, clean is required. Oh, it's quite hard to push, but flush is fine. And then above you've got various items. A candle. And above clean with no concerns. And then left of the door it's clean. And then towards the side also clean. You've got a toilet brush. And above the door. Okay, so I'm just going to close the unit, lift the bin up and I'm going to show you the flooring. So I've been walking on the flooring, it's clean, however you do have black marks on this ceiling in front of the shower cubicle and you've got hair visible. And then I think the shower truck, shower truck could do with a clean, just got a bit of a layer of dust, just to brighten it up. Look. A few lime scale watermarks here, do with a clean flooring with no damage, with no visible hairs. Brilliant. I'm just gonna head out. Turn that light, I turn that light off? Yep. And then under the stairs, items present, there's no light. The door. Open and close is fine, however, black scuff marks are present, clean required. Marks present, you've got mark on the door, a bit of pit paint chipped, and you've got a key here, which is causing black marks to appear. Okay, items present inside. And you can see on the wall, black marks are present. Even on the ceiling, black marks are present. the marks okay so this is the ground floor now done and I'm gonna head upstairs <laughs> 